let's describe waves a little with some more detail here. So let's talk about phase. It's the position of the wave uh, wherever it is. Um, here, look, it's starting right at the uh, x-axis, and it goes, you know, as it's moving along here. Right, so that's just kind of its relative position. And we could talk about shifting the phase so I can move it back and forth. But that's not really what I'm talking about. What I'm, let's bring another wave in. All right, here comes another wave. All right, here they come. All right, whoop. Now these two waves are moving like this. You'll see that both waves are both in the same relative position to each other as they're moving along. They are in phase. These two things are in phase. Let's send another one in. Oh, look, here's another wave. Oh, so at the front of the wave, it's at a different part of the wave. So it's, it's out of phase slightly with the other ones. So these two waves are in phase. This wave is out of phase with those two. But by how much? Well. Uh, there's a whole wavelength, here's a whole wavelength, here's a whole wavelength. That lines up to about a quarter. So this one, this wave, is out of phase by a quarter of a wavelength. So that would be a phase difference. What would cause that sort of phase difference? Well, one way to do it is to send it through a different medium. So let's send, let's send this wave through here. Here comes the wave. Break. When it enters into the medium, remember its wavelength changes because now I'm in a different medium. So here it is. All right, notice its wavelength shortened up and then it spit itself out. There we go. Notice I'm still in the same position. So the light wave comes in, shortens up, and then goes out. Remember, originally we were in phase with this, this guy. So when this wave continues on through, notice that here I should stay in phase because these two originally were in phase. Then this one had a phase shift by going through a different medium. And now I end up, look at that. I've got a, the crests are lining up with the troughs. So I have a full half wavelength phase shift due to going through this different medium. So that's one way to change the phase, is by sending it through a different medium. This one is what we did before, and you can find out what the wavelength is and the path length difference. So we can, the, the difference in phase would be the number of wavelengths here, which here this is, so what do we got? We got one, two, three, and three quarters, and here's one, two, three, four and a half. So you've got a quarter wave. Well, there should be about a half, half wavelength change there. Is that right? Yeah, because here's one, two, three, four and a half. Here's one, two, three and a half. Yeah, so we've got a full uh, half wavelength change here. Now, these two used to be in phase and have constructive interference, but after pa this one passing through, I now have destructive interference happening due to that wave phase, do that phase shift. Now there's another way that you can get phase shifts. The other one is through bouncing it off of a medium. So let's take that same medium, right? Now I'm going to send this in and bounce it off. I'm going to have some reflection. The reflection, because I'm not changing my medium that I'm in, that phase, the wavelength isn't changing, so I have the same wavelength, all right? But when I bounce off a higher index material, I should have, right? So it look, looks like this. I should break it like that because I'm ready for a crest to come off, all right? However, because I'm bouncing it off a higher index material, this undergoes a half wavelength phase shift by bouncing off of that higher index material. So when, here's N1, here's N2, when N1, when N2 is greater than N1, there is a one half wavelength phase shift. So I have to change 
my position in the wave because I've bounced off a higher index material. But remember, I'm going into this material now. So let's look at inside the material. Inside the material, so my fit, you don't get a phase change on the boundary. When it, when it bends in, you don't get, I should have a crest, so I have a crest. It goes up, down, up, down, crest, then I get the bend. And then I'm going to bounce off this bottom boundary again. So now, I've got this reflection that's happening here. Here, N2, again, is gr greater than N1. When I, so actually, let's change this, let's change this around. So now, we'll call this, well, uh, let's make this the bottom, N3. And in my situation here, N1 and N3 are the same. So here, when I have this internal reflection bouncing off there, it should be crest, trough, crest. I'm ready for a trough, and that's exactly what I get. So when N2 is greater than N3, there is no phase change, no phase change. No phase change. So I can change, the phase change happens by either sending it through a different material or reflecting it off a different material. So actually it looks something like, that should be a crest. That one's a half wavelength change there. Here's no phase change. So crest, trough, and then coming back out again with no, when, it, when you change the medium, there's no phase shift, so I end up going like this. That looks kind of familiar.